Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Inside the Dressing Room from my car. Today we are going back to Macy's and Secret Time. It's actually the same day as the other Macy's video I made, which is why I'm wearing the exact same thing. Um, and today we are going to be checking out the City Chic section of Macy's. Before I get into my inside the dressing room, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about City Chic. They are one of my favorite brands. They're kind of one of my go-to brands. Um, they tend to fit me really well. I love their styles. I think they're, you know, there's a lot of modest options. There's a lot of sexy options. Fit tends to be really great. Quality tends to be really great. They're a little pricier than um, like a Forever 21. They're kind of around toward priced. And I'm really excited to see if they have anything that's gonna work with, for me today. So let's just head on in. Hey guys, so I am here checking out City Chic, and yes, it's the same day as the last Macy's video. I'm still here. I just wanted to film two different videos so that I could do a spotlight on City Chic and then a couple of other little pieces I picked up that are not City Chic, but I wanted to show you. So, if you didn't see my last video, I always start these off with what I am wearing. So, I am wear testing a pair of American Eagle, their new plus jeans with an American Eagle top and some Target sandals, and then my bag today is my Chanel boy bag just like last time so let's get into it there's a sneaky peek we're trying on all that stuff okay so let's just start this off with a banger um yes so I think I would wear a different pair of underwear something that like held me in a little bit more but how oh, gorgeous in this dress you guys I'm dying I'm deceased I'm dying okay so let's talk about it. Smocked top. I got it in a size 18 just so that I had enough space on the bottom. Kind of with these fit and flare dresses, you never know. And then the top fits great. We have a good bit of space, but it fits really nicely because it's smocked all the way around. We have a very simple seam, a little bit of gathering, and then a beautiful long flowy bottom with a lace bit at the bottom. You guys, this is lightweight, this is airy, this is stunning. Such a gorgeous color on any skin tone. If you're pale, this is gonna be pretty. If you're dark, this is gonna be pretty. This is just a, just a pretty, just a pretty, pretty dress. Um, I will say for an 18, I kind of thought there'd be like a little more stomach space. I feel like it would kind of flare out just a bit more, but it doesn't, but that, God, that's totally okay for as lightweight and as hot it is outside. This is just a, gorgeous perfect little everyday dress to run errands in to go for brunch for lunch with your girlfriends go to a movie like this is just a fantastic fantastic little dress and i will say if you guys can kind of see it is a little sheer so we are getting like it kind of you know will show a little bit here and there but you, you know is is kind of worth it it's kind of worth it it's really great um, if I had a better, um, like, underwear on, you'd find, like, get a little more stomach cold. I think just, like, a regular, like, shapewear panty. But, my God, this is so pretty. And if you love it off the shoulder, like, it's staying down, which is really, really nice as well. So, um, it's going to be hard to say no to this one. But I'm going to keep on moving on. But, man, are we starting out strong today. Not sure what I was thinking when I picked this up. Maybe I thought I was going to live my best Beetlejuice life. Um, this is just the hardest pass ever um the keyhole is a no bueno this kind of ties in the back and has long strappy things which i think could be kind of cool if you're into that um if you don't have as many like hip to waist ratio like you're not know, as pear shaped as me and you're really tall maybe but um yeah. oh i don't think i've ever looked um more silly in my life so um it has po pockets this okay? I don't know. Yeah. No, definitely not. Okay, I kind of love this. I kind of really love this. I feel like Indiana Jones. Like, this is outstanding. Like, I need some leather sandals and a hat and, like, a tan satchel. And I am like, let's do this. Let's stick up some dinosaur bones. Um, okay, so this is phenomenal. So, we have a, it's a full button-up kind of trench dress um has a little bit of a sleeve so i got it in a size 20 to make sure that it fit here it does um i don't know that i would want to size down i like having as much space as i do but it is definitely too big on top like the sleeve space is huge and it's a little big but i kind of like that a little bit i wonder if it would look better if i got rid of the sleeve if i got the sleeve taken off i feel like that's already a little bit of a better silhouette for me 
it makes it look like it fits a little better as well because I can pull the shoulder in. So I might, if I get it, I might get it altered. Great pockets. The fabric's a little scratchy, but um, it's a really gorgeous little dress. It's kind of heavyweight, um, but not too heavy. Whereas this pink one, the first pink one was very lightweight and common, kind of almost felt like tissue a little bit. This has a lot of weight to it in um, comparison. Great length just below the knee, so perfect for work. Um, I think if you can, you know, if you do wear short sleeves to work, I think like at this length, that's a really great work appropriate dress. And if you um, work in a more casual office, you can definitely do that. And in the winter, you can layer tights in a long sleeve shirt under it and do that. You can even um, wear it open over jeans and a long sleeve black t-shirt as a jacket or as like a day coat in the winter. So this is an actually really, really super useful dress and I love this rich deep kind of green that they do this khaki green that they do, which is absolutely gorgeous so um I think this is really chic and she might be coming home with me I'm loving loving this fit okay so this next jumpsuit um is a no for not necessarily fit reasons actually I kind of like how it looks um I love the detailing I wish I had pockets um and I don't mind the length I think with a pair of wedges it would look really cute and it has a really cute tie side zip and then a really nice little detail here so it's kind of overallsy but not the main reason it's an absolute no is that the fabric is so 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 itchy like my legs are just like i'm freaking out like i feel like my legs are getting chewed up and torn up with like every step that i take so um even though this looks really great and is really cute and is lightweight and stuff um i have to pass because the fabric is just so painfully itchy that I, I couldn't possibly wear this for any um, length of time. I'm wearing it here in the fitting room for like two minutes and already I feel like so uncomfortable in it. So unfortunately this one is a pass for me. Um, gorgeous stack though. If they had this exact fit in a different fabric, I would be pretty much on board. Um, but this one is going to have to be enough for me. So it, it took me forever to get into this, but now that it's on, um, I might in love so it looks like a little skirt but it's actually a skirt. so there's a full pair of shorts in the front and then in the back as well and then this kind of overlay that makes it look like a little mini skirt which gives you more obviously security i just have the um <laughs> the cami of a shirt so i have the rest of the shirt tucked in because it's attached by the security sensor but i just wanted to see what it would look like with a simple little tang and i think this is kind of amazing this is awesome so it has pockets in the front it's it's a wa it's, you step into it so the fabric has like no stretch um but it has an elastic waist so it's just a little hard to get on but once it's on i feel like it's really cute and i love the idea of being able to wear something that's a skirt that's like this length that isn't going to ride up or be problematic at all so um i kind of wonder what you guys think what do you guys think about this kind of skirt i never wear stuff like this so i feel like this might be the first time um, it's in a linen fabric which is the same fabric as the jumpsuit which was itchy but this one is not as itchy i think it's just because there's not as much of it on my skin so um i i don't know you guys i think this is kind of cute might have to get this mm. somebody out there is going to love this outfit <laughs> that somebody is not me so um okay I, these pieces definitely don't even come close to going together but the skirt for me is a hard pass. I don't like the cut of it. I don't like how it's got like kind of a, I don't know. I feel like it's just too wide at the bottom, but not wide enough on top. I feel like there's not enough waist definition. Um, I have this belt as small as it will go and I still feel like, I don't know, the pockets pucker weird. Um, I just, I just don't like it. I just do not like it at all it just looks dowdy and matronly and a little bleh. um this top is pretty i think with a pair of jeans it might work it's a little too prissy girly for me but i think if you like are trying to live your best like blair waldorf like gossip girl life like this is it is really pretty it's not my style so i don't think i would wear it but i think if you're a very feminine girly girl this with a pair of jeans or with the right skirt could be stunning um, but ugh, I'm not having as much luck as I would like, but the next two items have palm prints in them, so, you know, at the very least, I like the prints. I mean, oh, there I am. I was wondering where I was, too. I think you guys are probably like, where was she? Where did she go? Where is Crystal? Um, here we go. So I am back 
to my natural form, some sort of palm version. Um, this jumpsuit's actually killer, killer, killer. So I'm wearing it a size 20, and the top is like a smidge, just a smidge too big, but we adjusted with the little strappy dues here, and it fits really nicely. Um, okay, this jumpsuit is wide open on the side, so leg moment, yes, but I'm obsessed with how it ties. It has these two pieces of fabric that you like literally cinch in the waist, and that's how the pants stay shut. What? I freaking love this so much. Like, oh my god, this is absolutely to die for. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it's a little not snug in the stomach, I would say, but it kind of is pulling a little bit here. But with these tied, I feel like we're good. I feel like the print distracts, it covers. Um, this, there's no way I'm going home without this. This is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm obsessed. I love it. I saw it in a couple different colors as well. If palm print's not your vibe, I don't know what you're doing on this channel, but this is, uh, I mean, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Look at this thing. Oh my god. It's like a sarong jumpsuit vacay lightweight perfect let's go to cpk and get some salads kind of like what oh i love it okay so this is our last city chic piece and this is a style that they do in truly thousands of different prints every season they bring it back um and i like this one i don't know if i love it um i've been wearing this tune they call it a tunic um i feel like if you size up like i did i'm wearing a 20 um that you get enough length that you can wear it as a dress easily but sometimes um, in the smaller sizes if it fits you a little better it can ride up so you want to put like leggings or something underneath but um i don't know if i love the print necessarily i think it's pretty but maybe a little too brown and florally for me but um, otherwise a really great style um it looks like it has pockets these are kind of like folds in the fabric so they kind of act as pockets but i wouldn't like trust your phone in there i guess but it's really cute. It's just really cute. But I don't think this is the right print for me. Um, sidebar, this would be amazing over a swimsuit because it literally just unzips and you slip it on and then you zip it back up. So, um, and it's lightweight and airy. So it's really easy to wear. I just think this is not the right print for me. But yeah, I just want to show it to you guys because it's really cute. I think I'm going to pass on it though. I'm going to wait for a better, um, more palmy print to come out I think and then I might get one but yeah really cute little style okay so this dress is not from City Chic but when I saw this hanging up on the hanger I knew that I had to try it on because it um so pretty I love the embroidery and it really reminds me of like the Valentino dresses from a couple of years back um so this is 139 I really think this is beautiful. I think if you have any summer formals or any kind of summer or even a winter or fall wedding to go to, um, this would be a beautiful, beautiful dress to wear. Um, it has a tulle layer underneath, which I feel like is slightly overkill. I don't know that I like how billowy it is at the bottom, so I feel like I would cut that out, but I do like that it's lined. Um, yeah, I think it needs a belt for sure, but how pretty is that? They look like the garden. Like, like I am the garden. This is cute. This is really, really cute. And I also think if you're going to a wedding and you don't wear shapewear, this is the kind of dress that you get so that way you can eat what you need to do. You can move around and boogie and live your best life in it. Um, what a pretty dress. Such pretty, pretty embroidery fabric on this. I love this. Okay, babe, so that is it for the try-on portion of this city chic inside the dressing room. I am going to definitely grab that jumpsuit, see if I want anything else. I'll see you back at the car for my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so let's talk a little bit about city chic. And you know, city chic tends to be one of those brands that I can order online with good confidence. I really know my sizing. I really know what to get. I know how things fit. I really like them. I'm a little bummed that I didn't walk away with more today. I felt like there were some things that like didn't really work. Um, mostly I felt like there was some fabric issues that I wasn't really super thrilled about. So I did end up picking up two things. Um, but I will say that I was pretty, pretty standard sizing when it comes to city chic. City chic. So when I do dresses at city chic, especially if they're fit and flares, I usually go with an 18 because you know my thighs are huge and my top is less huge. And so um, I tend to go with an 18 to kind of balance out that middle. Like it'll be a little big on top. It'll probably fit on the bottom. So I'm good to go there. Um, tops are 16s. Bottoms are usually 18s or 20s. 
20s and so I ended up picking up two items I think you guys already know what the first one is but I'll show you anyway um, it is the jumpsuit I had to get the jumpsuit I cannot wait to wear it like I truly 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 cannot wait to wear it I love the design I love the print I mean obviously I love the print like this is so me you guys and I love how like it's kind of sheer but it's not sheer because it's black I don't know it's sheer but it's not it's lightweight the design is really interesting the fit is really great um, I'm just really really freaking happy with this so I got it in a size large which is a 20 and it was originally 129 and I paid uh, it was 25% off so I think I paid 96 for it um, for a piece like this for me as someone this is something I'm gonna reach for a lot um, it's something that I would pair with like sandals to just run out it's something that I would definitely wear for date night it's just one of those pieces that I would take on vacation I would wear here in town like there's just no end of me wearing this jumpsuit so it was kind of a hands-down easy-peasy decision for me now the other item I got I'm even surprised about I don't know if I'm gonna keep it but I got it because I wanted to work with it and see if I liked it so um, in a size 20 I picked up the skirt actually so it is the skirt that I tried on that linen um, I don't know why I got it I loved I love it conceptually I like how it looks I don't know I don't know but I thought you know what if I'm gonna try something different I feel like this is kind of the way to go so shorts in the back skirt in the front it's like a mullet basically it's a mullet in a garment but I think it's kind of cute I love the um, buttons on it I love that it's made out of like linen so it's kind of got like that really cool summer slash reformation vibe to it it looks like really high-end feels really high-end so it was $75 for the skirt and I got 25% off so I think after taxes and whatever um, or right before taxes with the discount I think it came to 56 bucks or something like that so a really good deal I think um because City Chic stuff is really well made I have pieces from City Chic that are easily five years old that look brand new I rarely 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 get rid of my City Chic stuff outside of Eloquia I will say they are probably hands down my favorite brand to wear to buy to shop because I always end up finding something that I liked in a style that I like in a color that I like um as so a while today wasn't the smash hit that I wanted it to be I do feel like over the moon thrilled with that jumpsuit and I'm excited to explore styling this and see if I can put it into daily rotation so when I get home I'm gonna style it up a little bit and see if I fall in love with it even more and if I don't then it's Macy's and they're really great about taking things back so I will just bring it on back so that is it for me you guys I hope you enjoyed this city chic inside the dressing room at Macy's I know we're starting off inside the dressing rooms again with two back-to-back -back Macy's episodes um, mainly because it's the same day but also because I wanted to like really cover of underground and kind of jump right back in we have some really great stores coming up in the future we have some really cool challenges we're going to be doing so um stay tuned and don't forget to hit subscribe like and the notification bell on your way out leave any requests you have down in the comments down below we will check them out we will add them to the list and we will probably do them so that is it for me i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are thank you so much for hanging out with me i appreciate you so much i'll be back with more videos this week but i'll be back with another inside the dressing room next week i love you guys so much Mwah. see you next time bye